It's Eric Previn, the county resident from District 3 and also a uh, third district supervisorial candidate. And this, uh, I was not able to digest that amendment right away. And I would ask that the Board of Supervisors delay this hearing. Uh, have same amendments on the green sheet. It's the same amendment. The only thing different was to keep the parking at a dollar at Fisherman's Village. No, I understand the dollar, I, I, right, but it is a teeny bit confusing. There's something about from 13 to a high of 236%. I'm just a little confused by it. I will address your amendment earlier, which was to uh, reduce the increase on a typical $10 parking charge for a family in the hottest part of summer driving to the coast for coastal access, which, as you recall, the marina was by charter intended to provide coastal access for the residents of Supervisor Molina's district and Supervisor... Uh, Ridley Thomas's and Mayor Antonovich's district because we don't all have coastal access, those uh, residents who are not on the coast. So you've provided, instead of a $5 increase on a $10 charge, up to $15, you've suggested let's hold that at $250, which is in fact very, uh, it's in the right direction, but it is of course still 25% more than we, the public can possibly handle. So I want to just get to the basic thrust. The basic thrust is that an ordinary family coming to the beach in the summer should not be hammered with additional charges. It is an abnegation of this board's responsibility to hold the line on these costs. We've heard Mayor, uh, sorry, not Mayor, but uh, Supervisor Yaroslavsky on uh, the Hollywood Bowl roll up the increases on park and ride and everything else. And Supervisor Kanaba, you stand tall and say, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to vote for it. Where are you guys on this? We need the regular supervisors to step forward together and say, no, Beaches and Harbor, you're a profitable, high-end group that has offices on the coast. You don't need additional uh, personnel for this work. In fact, we already gave you seven parking enforcement guys, and we can't even, these parking lots, this, is, this drives me crazy, these parking lots are not even being used at the current rates. So to increase these parking fees is an absolute outrage, and I urge this board to take strong action against us. Thank, thank you. Appreciate your outrage.